Hey, what's up guys? It's Dom from Whole Printing Inc. In today's video, we're going over the DTF Q&As slash FAQs number three. So guys, if I am looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. I took down the questions and obviously the answers so we don't get too off track. And this one is gonna be pretty interesting, so I hope you guys are ready. The first question, I heard that the fumes are pretty toxic. How do you manage that? So I'm guessing this person is talking about, you know, the fumes of the DTF oven. Once the page of the actual DTF uh, print, like your DTF printer has passed the page and the page has actually passed through the printer, has gone through the print head and you know, you have ink on the page, you're gonna take your page and insert it in the powder. If you guys have been following my channel, I've shown you guys multiple examples of this. Once the page has powder on it, you're gonna insert it inside of this oven. Now guys, the ventilation must be a bit open at least so that the fumes get out of the actual oven. The thing is though, the fumes are absolutely toxic. So this person has a valid question. What do you do when the fumes start rising? I personally put a fan, a fan pushing towards this fan, which when we open this window is pushing all of those toxic fumes outside. I suggest you guys use this oven in a highly ventilated area, ideally close to a window. And if you guys can, have some sort of ventilation system. It doesn't need to be this type of ventilation system. It could be better, it could be worse. The idea here is that any type of fumes that come out of here, you want them to be going outside so you're not breathing them. Ideally guys, my setup would be a bit different. We're maybe gonna be changing this uh, soon, but the heat presses are a bit in the way of the fumes because once the fume rises and they go here, if we got some operators on the heat press, especially when they're on the crates, you're pretty close to the fumes, you know what I mean? So this is not the ideal setup, but at least we got the ventilation and the fumes can at least eventually go out. I hope this answered your question. This is the most important thing. Have a highly ventilated area. Um, wear a mask if ever it's impossible to have uh, proper ventilation. And as well, make sure to always uh, take a look at your oven and never leave it unattended. Next question, guys. Where can I buy extra parts for my printers? So, guys, maintenance on a DTF printer is gonna be a common thing. We just took down this printer and rebuilded it had a lot of problems uh, during this uh, process. It took us two days, but now we got it working properly. But I can confidently say that if you got the patience for it, you're gonna be uh, you know, doing a lot of maintenance on your printer and I'm not just talking head cleaning. You guys are gonna be going inside of the printer, changing some parts. So you might be asking to yourself, where can I buy some extra parts so if ever I need to change something or whatever. Well guys, I'm happy to say that we do sell some extra parts online. You guys can go take a look on our website and if not guys you can also contact the engineers directly if you bought this printer on amazon you can just go down in the link down below and take a look go on the amazon link and from there you can contact the seller the seller is going to give you their skype and you're going to have access to the engineers which are going to be able to tell you which part you need when your printer is malfunctioning this after sales service is a must in my opinion this is why it's a no-brainer in my personal opinion to buy the printer on amazon once you buy the printer on Amazon with my special link, you're gonna have access to the after sales support team. I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just personally find that they always help me a ton. I've been DTF printing now for two years. Each time that I have something go wrong, they help me to solve the problem and they're very patient with me and they obviously have a good attitude when helping me. The engineers help me go through the troubleshooting of my printer and when I need to change a part, they offer me you know, directly to sell me the part and obviously I know that I'm getting the best part because they know what is, you know, uh, malfunctioning and what the diagnostic of my printer is. So they can send me the part and once I get it, they're gonna help me to properly install it via, you know, photos and videos they are gonna show me how to properly do it even though they are not physically inside of my shop which is an extremely big asset in my opinion. This is pretty much where you can get your parts. Any type of accessories, ink, paint, any type of stuff like that, we do sell at wprinting.ca. And as well, we do sell some of the parts that we were mentioning, you know, we update the website almost daily with new products to better serve you in your DTF experience. Next question, guys. After I print and bake my DTF sheet, can I sell the sheets and ship them? 
Absolutely guys, so once the sheet has come out of the oven and you would like to ship them, I have made a video on how to store your DTF prints. Make sure to click up here. And once your prints are stored, you can now package them. I made a video on how to ship DTF sheets right here guys. So once you've done those two steps, you're ready to ship your DTF films. And this can be a profitable business for you guys if ever you guys are looking to scale something up and offer quality transfers to people in your community. So this is a big asset in my opinion and this can be a business of its own. How do you buy, how do you buy in bulk from suppliers? So this is a question I've got a lot guys. Obviously, uh, ink, stuff like that, sheets, we all sell on the website. But when it comes to like clothing guys, where do we supply all of our clothing? We supply our clothing from a few manufacturers. I'll tell you a few names right here. We are not associated with any of them, but we personally like their services. Wardans, disclaimer though, I've personally been staying a bit more away from Wardans recently. It's a Canadian website. Uh, I do like their service. However, recently I have been using other sites. Blank Tea, a service that I like, and also t-shirts.ca. We don't exclusively use only one supplier. We haven't found any supplier that treats us right, guys. I don't say this to be mean or like discourage you guys, but I haven't had a supplier which I'm like, oh my God, they're incredible. We are looking around, guys, to become more of an affiliate in bigger programs. We have heard of, you know, a Sanmar. I don't want to pronounce it wrong. I believe that's how you say it. It's um, S-A-N-M-A-R, Sanmar, I believe. We will maybe join that group and have better affiliate pricing. But previously and currently, we're pretty much using Wordans, Blank T, T-shirts.ca, and a few more. And obviously, guys, uh, we are okay. We have a bunch of inventory at the moment, but we're still going to be stacking up. So that's why we're going to be joining, I believe, Sanmar really, really soon. But this is this could be a video on itself. I don't want to ramble too on on this question, but a very good question, especially from um, from a printing perspective, which is in Canada. Like I said, I'm going to make a full on video on this topic very soon. Once we join a few more programs like Sanmar and so on. Also, Independent Trading Co. is one of our go to's for more premium garments. Uh, List of things needed for DTF printing. Hmm. So guys, I can make a full on video on this and I actually will as well, but I wanna give you guys a quick little preview of what you can be expecting. So you're gonna need a printer or your transfers, AKA your logos on a sheet. After you got your printer or your transfers, if you go the printer route, you're gonna need an oven, you're gonna need a heat press also. And after that, you're gonna need films and inks and also some accessories to maintenance your DTF printers. If you go with just the film route, you're gonna need the film. We sell the films down below. And after that, you're gonna need a heat press to actually be able to apply those films on the garment. And that's pretty much it, guys. I made a full-on DTF printing bundle. So this printing bundle, guys, comes with everything you need to start DTF printing. It can be extremely helpful when you guys are one starting out. And I believe that this bundle is gonna give you all that you need without stress, without expecting, oh, did I miss something? I know for a fact when I started DTF printing, I forgot a lot of things and it was really frustrating, guys, because I didn't have a lot of suppliers in my area. So let's say I forgot to buy something, I'd have to wait like three to four four weeks to get my supplies and it would really offset my production and my learning experience with DTF. So I made a few bundles for you guys. You guys can go check them out. And from there, if ever you guys are interested in the bundle, it's gonna be a more efficient way to start DTF printing. And obviously you guys are gonna be saving some money and some time buying those products. So from there guys, how many hours a day can you run the printer? So depending guys on what printer you choose, there's not gonna be much of a difference except the number of sheets you're gonna be able to do. So you can basically run this printer 24 seven. You're gonna have to do maintenance a few times. How do you know when to do your maintenance? Basically, if you see a sheet and you can see it, that it's not properly you know, graded on the back, you're missing some lines, whatever the case may be. I personally just run a diagnostic every few hours on my printer. So let's say I'm printing a bunch of sheets. Eventually after a few hours, I just put a test piece of paper inside of the printer. I run a nozzle check F11 and I take a look at the paper. And if the paper is okay, we continue on with the production. And if there's a problem with the diagnostic, we do our maintenance and we take a look again. And if everything is okay, we continue the production. So this is pretty much what you can expect on how you can run your printers. In theory, you could run them every single day for 24 hours a day. Only thing though, you do need to do your maintenance every single day to make sure that you know your printhead is performing properly. Now guys, final question. 
is DTF printing good for white prints? I've made a full on video on DTF printing for white prints and short answer is yes guys. If you do your maintenance properly, you're going to be able to have quality, crispy, vibrant white prints each and every single time. The main thing guys, if you don't do your maintenance, your white prints are going to be absolutely horrendous. The white is the most important one to maintenance and properly check every single day. So make sure to do your maintenance properly, especially on the white. I've done a video on how to properly do your maintenance right here guys. Make sure to go take a look at that. But from there guys, if you found this video somewhat helpful and insightful, DTF, uh, FAQs and Q&A number 3, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching and I wanted to end this video by telling you guys I appreciate every single one of you. I see you guys in the comments down below. I see you guys buying the products. I see you guys supporting. I, I phone you guys. We're calling. We're emailing each other. We're building this community up. And I wanted to say I'm really, really grateful for every single one of you. With that being said, guys, I'm really excited for the future. We're going to have way more products on the website that are coming very soon. So do stay up to date with the website for daily updates on the DTF products and community. And from there, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Dom from Whole Printing Inc. Make a print. You'll never forget.